rise up. Whoa, not gonna give up. Whoa, we're gonna rise up. Welcome to Rise Up, hosted by me, Steve Colm. I'm so excited that you're here today and that you're uh, going to be spending this this little bit of time uh, listening to this amazing interview with John Mercus. He uh, has an awesome story, and uh, he's uh, one of my kin. He's uh, he's an Aussie, and he was actually born in the same same town, same city as I was born in, and so um, down in Melbourne, Victoria, and so in Australia. So. Um, yeah, this is going to be an amazing interview, and uh, we're going to be really diving in and, and talking about, um, you know, how he kind of, uh, how coaching is really important, has really helped him along. Um, you know, I'm a big, big advocate, and I'm a big believer in making sure that you uh, surround yourself with people who who you want to be like. You know, if you look around the people that you're hanging around and listening to and talking to, um, and in this this day and age, in this digital world, that includes the Facebook groups you're in. That includes the people that you're uh, you're hanging around, the, the people you're following on Instagram, the people that you're reading what they're doing, the people that you're following. Those are all the people in your group. And uh, there's that old saying that you become like the people you hang around. And it's so, so true. And we talk about that in this interview with, uh, with John. And uh, we talk about some upcoming things that he's actually uh, planning and doing. Uh, he's creating his... Um, amazing new business, which I won't give it away, and <laughs> so, so you can listen to um, his kind of strategy and and see what kind of get inside his philosophy and how he is structuring his businesses and and bringing some of the practical things, bringing some of the things that um, uh, you know the the things that you've learned throughout the years, you know, bringing that into a new new company or a new business. You know, he's a serial entrepreneur just like myself, and he's uh, been very successful in the things he's doing, and he's got big dreams and some big, big goals ahead. And so this is going to be a great, great, great uh, interview, and I'm so excited you're here. But, but just before we start, uh, I wanted to let you know, um, you know, this might be the first time you've listened to this podcast, but um, the reason I started this podcast was because um, my stillborn son um, was born in uh, the beginning of this year, and and he never he never got a, he never got to take a, a a breath of life, and and I I really wanted to give him I really wanted to give him a voice. I really wanted to, um, uh, you know, his his life mattered, you know. So I I, I wanted to give him, and somehow give him a voice or give him a a purpose that he 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 actually did impact people and help people and and I thought well you know maybe I maybe I should start a um, podcast with inspirational and motivational messages and and I thought that would be that would give that would be an awesome opportunity for that he he kind of he inspired that and I wanted to do it for him and so I'm shining the light and 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 that's because of him you know this is I wanted to do it so he's making the world even though he never took a a breath of uh breath of air um asher is changing the world and so he's making the world brighter and i'm i'm it, it, i'm just so excited about that but in saying that you know um i want to i want to ask you guys and and, and invite you to become a sponsor or a partner with me uh, if you head over to patreon.com forward slash steve column then uh you can you can partner with me there and um you can buy me a coffee buy me a lunch there which is uh which is which is fun. And, um, but then also, you know, it really helps if, if, um, uh, you know, if you could actually, uh, do a five-star review reviews, are how, how this all works. And, and so, um, and, and share it with your friends, let anyone else know that, you know, what you got out of this or, you know, sh share it with your friends because, uh, we, we really, really, me and Asha really want this world to be a brighter place because he was here and, um, but anyway, let's uh, think about that and head over to, um, uh, uh, you know, head over to the Facebook group, of course, which is uh, Rise Up with Steve Colm and uh, join the community there and join the group there. So awesome. Let's go ahead and dive in. And um, this is going to be great. I guess in, in answering your question, it's really been about managing that, those negative thoughts 
um, because everything starts with a thought, right? Every emotion that you feel, you think something before you feel that emotion. Right? When I learned that, I learned that in a Wayne Dyer book. That just blew my mind. It's like because you go along along life and I don't know, you're bumping around, you're doing whatever, and you have these feelings, and I feel this way, and I feel that way, whatever. And then someone says to you, which is obvious, and once you know, it's makes so much sense. And a lot of this stuff is like that, or a reminder. You kind of have this intuitive knowledge. But it's really nice to get it pointed out that you think something before you feel something. So be mindful of what you're thinking because it can really make a difference. So the um, building muscle around that has really helped me overcome some of those things like the imposter syndrome we're talking about or rejection. Um, that, that's a big one. Uh, my wife's in sales and I used to joke with her and say, I could never do that because I can't handle the rejection. <laughs> but um, you know, that, that's a whole, a, a whole other topic. Um, but um, it just, so, because what I realized, and I think it's the same for a lot of people, there's only one person stopping you and it's you. Yep. Uh, and so with a few adjustments, with a few bits of knowledge, you know, in that, area of you don't know what you don't know and then you can bring that into you to your knowledge and go why am I feeling like this oh because well, I thought that oh why am I thinking that there's no evidence for that I just made that up I just made it up wow. it's a story that I made up and I'm uh living it like it's the truth but it's not the truth I just made it up <laughs> no so why not make up a something that's more empowering okay so I thought no one's going to listen to me. Okay, well, thanks for sharing, John. Now, what next? Okay, how about I can see people like Steve doing doing great work. I can just look at all the podcasts and go, wow, look at all these people. They're actually out there doing it. My uh, goal is to be an international um, uh, speaker. So start doing it, mate. <laughs> So I don't know if that answers your question. I get excited when I talk about this stuff, but um, there you no, go. Ab absolutely. I think it's actually brilliant. I think you tapped on a few things that I um, I hold really true true to myself as well. And some people would call them triggers. Some people would be like, you know, I love that you said that you, you'll feel a way, uh, the way you said it, and you'll have to say it again, but like that your mind first had that feeling or that memory or whatever it is, that trigger that made you feel that way. And and yeah, finding those uh, for me, like personally, I, I've been battling this thing that or going through this thing of like good enough. And and I feel like, you know, I get to the end of the day and I'm like, I didn't do enough, you know, and then I get to the, you know, I don't have enough or this. And, and that's toxic because you'll never have enough, you know, you'll yeah. have 20 Lamborghinis in the uh in the garage and 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 even if you get to the number one of everything every possible thing it's still not enough there's the universe and it's like so I think that's so powerful that you you shared that that um you know it's and it's yeah you're the only person you just dropped like about five <laughs> five microphone <laughs> drops there and um it's absolutely <laughs> true uh that yeah it's you've got to address the inner uh, those inner voices and 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 now what do, what do you do to kind of uh to kind of tame those inner voices or yeah what, what? well um i think that one of the things is to have the awareness that that happens right so we've just covered that we've got the awareness we're, we're not living unconsciously we're living consciously and and being aware of what of what we think the other principle I just want to share with you is that um when i realized and someone said to me look around you look around you and go Everything that you see was someone else's thought first. Because right. thoughts are the energy behind the physical, right? So all the things I can see around me now, someone thought about that and created that. Now you can argue about nature or whatever. Let's, let's not go there, right? But let's, let's exclude nature for, for, for now. But everything else you see around you was someone else's thought. So thoughts that's create. Drop. That's awesome. Yeah, isn't that amazing? I know that blew my mind. And you look around and go, yeah, that. That picture frame over there, someone thought about that and made that and, and I bought it and put pictures in it, whatever. This monitor I'm looking at, that was a thought and you know that was created and whatever. So all this creation around us was first 
created with a thought. So that's why it's really important to manage, well, maybe not manage, but just be aware of, of your thoughts because you're creating as you're thinking, right? And then there's this whole this manifestation, this manifest stuff that, that's around and everything, which I, I love as well. But mm-hmm. I think the point there is um, just be mindful of your thoughts because you're creating as you think. So if I'm having thoughts that I don't think are serving me, the best way to, well, there's, there's many ways and there's different ways for different people. I can share some of mine and hopefully yeah. that'll resonate with, with, with you and, and the audience. Um, touched on music. Music's awesome, right? So if I'm not um, feeling the best, so uh, I've got a um, Spotify playlist called Merco Motivation, which, um, which I like to add to. So I'd love to know your, um, your favorite motivational uh, song. Mm-hmm. Um and because uh, uh, I'm going to interview you as well, right? So um, yeah, yeah, exactly. We're so going to do a trade when, off. When we, yeah, that's it. When we interview, uh, yeah. let me know what your favorite motivational song is, and we'll whack it on the list. Um, so I just well, got to hear. Kind of, uh, on that topic, I'm kind of a bit weird because because um, I do music 24 seven. Music oh. does a different. It's so weird. Like music is different for me. It's like it's mm. like I almost can't like. I guess it's sometimes it's the old songs for me, like the songs I grew up with. They just have memories and stuff. But mu- like even when I go to like uh, getting a massage or going to a spa or something, I'm listening. I'm I'm listening to the music, going, "Oh, I wouldn't pick that instrument. Oh, that's a nice blend of those." Yeah. It's just like nonstop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's very different it. for me. But keep going. Yeah. So, uh, what do you? No, do? I get it. And and that's the point. Different things for different people, right? So. Yeah. For me, music is one of my, I've got a few go-to things that I'll share, but music is, is one of them. I get what you're saying as well, because I've heard that um, actors and filmmakers, they can never go to see a film and not think of, you know, behind the scenes, the inner workings, the, the all the stuff. Yeah. So I can imagine that it's the same with you, um, with the music, because you've produced so much and um, and it's been such a, a big part of, of your career. Um, so um, the other thing is using the body to enhance the mind so um there's a few things breathing's great (laughs) but we take it for granted um even just taking three deep breaths uh is important it can change your state and your thinking um there's a thing in learning that we say all learning is state dependent so if you're in a more upbeat state you're going to ease more easily learn than if you're in a uh, uh, downbeat kind of not feeling the best so in wow. training we do it a lot where we ask people to um, stand up um, just in just interrupt by using your body so the other thing is I can't really demonstrate at the moment but you stand up and you lift your right knee and touch your left elbow right, and yep. then you d- do the opposite so you're kind of marching Mm-hmm. But you're touching your elbow on your knee as you're going, and that um, activates both sides of your brain because right. you're kind of opposite to what you normally do, and you've got to think about it as well. Um, so that helps. And still in line, and I do this sometimes just when I'm walking, whether I'm, you know, not to interrupt any negative thoughts, but I just like doing it. As I'm walking, I'll say either out loud if I can or, or to myself, I'll say success, yep. confidence, mm-hmm. success, mm-hmm. confidence. And it's amazing after you do that for a while, you really, oh, it works for me. I really get, uh, get, get uplifted. And um, uh, so, yeah, so using whatever it is for you, some people that might be going to see a movie. It's like, oh, I love this movie. Every time I see it, I feel really great. Good, go and see it. Or uh, I've read this book every time I say, I've got, books all around me sometimes i'll i'll just uh pick up a book and remember how great it was when i read it flick through a couple of pages and go oh yeah i remember that what not this book here uh illusions by richard bark it's got this great saying on the back i keep it on my desk it says um here is a test to find whether your mission on earth is finished if you're alive it isn't <laughs> So just stuff like that. So, but it's, it's important. It's a really good question because you want to surround yourself or be aware of the things that you can tap into to lift yourself up, to rise, to rise up. Yes, so, rise up, absolutely. And and so I guess because um, because negative thoughts come at you all the time. It could be 
you know, you whatever it could be, you know, you're someone, something someone said, you know, last week, or mm. uh, it could be like, or it could be a, your own DNA or your programming saying that, oh, you can't do that, or from from family members or or relatives saying, oh no, get a real job, you know, that's a good one for the mu- musicians, you know, yeah, or yeah. artists, you know, and and so how so how when you when that thought comes in, I guess how do you get rid of that straight away or is it just does it is it for over a period of time you realize like you just got to realize it first and then that period of time shortens maybe that's right and the quicker the better and sometimes uh just saying thanks for sharing that's not serving me right now is enough to just move on just acknowledge it as i found there's power in acknowledging how you feel to be able to to move on if you try and hold it down or go that's not really happening or or uh, whatnot um, it's still there. Yeah. They go, yes, I feel this way. I acknowledge I feel this way. Um, I, the other thing that I recommend is I have a, a coach. I used to think that was just um, all crap. <laughs> and I thought there's, there's more um, advertisements to be a coach than there are people actually, actually getting coached. So I right. thought it was that yeah. kind of, that kind of industry, right? Yeah. But um uh, then I realize you need an outside influence like that sometimes to really propel you and to be accountable and to, sh- and maybe help you with things that you didn't realize. And every great sporting team has a coach. Yeah. Um, so I, I changed my thinking, uh, about that. And my, uh, coach has been, um, great at exposing me to, um, there's this thing, this is one of many concepts is, is spoken to me about but one's called this uh the emotion wheel have you heard of the emotion wheel no go ahead yeah go ahead. yeah so it's a it's a wheel <laughs> with a with a list of emotions and if you're feeling a particular way and you really want to acknowledge that feeling that's um how we started this this part is just acknowledging the feeling you bring out the wheel and it's got a list of emotions and go, yeah, I'm feeling that. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Yeah, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. Yet, So it really helps you define because you might go, oh, I'm just feeling a bit angry. You go, yeah, okay. Well, what, okay. Angry. And why? Oh, yeah, that's a bit lonely. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit lonely. I mean, what, oh. And then you can really acknowledge those feelings mm-hmm. and then move on. So there's power in just acknowledging. Wow. That's really powerful. Yeah. And, and I yeah. guess even instead of you having to think about why or, or all these things, it's actually written down like some of the things and that, that are associated, I guess, with that and how it helps you move through it quicker, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So um, acknowledging is, there's a lot of power uh, in, in acknowledgement. And um, so, uh, yeah, we talked about having, having a coach and I really advocate um if people were thinking about it um, to uh, to do it because you learn things that you just would have never known. Right. Right. Yeah. And it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a, um, I, I agree. I think it's such a powerful thing and we all understand. I think everybody understands it, that you go to school and you're kind of getting coached from teachers. <laughs> some, some teachers or coaches are <laughs> not the best and some are great and, and some have made a huge impact, but it doesn't stop. You know, you need mentors and you need coaches. I, I think that is is so powerful. And the great thing about a coach is it's more one on one, and and it's all it's it's like you've got to, uh, you know, pour into yourself or you've got to invest in yourself. Is that something that you've 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 uh, you recommend or um, investing in yeah. yourself? And and yeah, a- a- absolutely. Uh, I did a. Um... Years ago, I did a speaking course and uh, they said to me, it's so great that you've invested in yourself. And I thought, oh, yeah, I didn't think about it that way. I just thought there was some tuition to this course and I wanted to do the course or I paid it. But then I realized, yes, it really is an investment in yourself. And we spend money on lots of things, but how much money do we actually, and time, uh, do we spend on ourselves doing what we want it a lot like to do our passion what lights us up but also what will help us get to where we want to go um as well so i am a big advocate of um investing in yourself whether it's buying that book 
whether it's um, supporting that um, podcast that you love, because you've got to want to surround yourself with positive influences to uplift you. That's what I find anyway. That's what works for me in my life. And I think um, it it works for others as well because I've, I've seen it work. So I uh, actually invested in a, um, it's, I think it's called, it's Time to Podcast course mm -hmm. with, uh, with Sarah Heller. And... Um, it was quite an investment, especially because it was in US dollars. <laughs> and um, yeah, the exchange rate's <laughs> gone down a little bit now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And I wanted to do it. I really, I really did, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to spend the money. Yeah. And I spoke to my coach, and she asked me a um, really responsible question. She said, "Will this give you financial hardship?" if you do this course, as in, you know, you're still going to be able to eat and pay the bills and stuff like that. And the answer was, um, yeah, I'll be able to do those things. It's not going to cause me financial hardship. Well, she said, I'm hearing that you really want to do it. You're just looking for someone else to validate that decision. So right. just go on ahead and do it, will you? <laughs> so, yeah. right. um, and, and so I did. So it was really good just to get that coaching and that validation as well. And, that, you know, there might be people out there that are looking at doing some uh, thing to enhance their life, either personally, professionally or, or, or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a really powerful, responsible question. Will you still be able to, you know, cover the basics and and, and do the basics. Okay. And um, and if the answer is yes, I'd encourage you to go for it because I've never regretted $1 or one minute at a time that I took to invest in myself, to go to that course, to do that online thing, to buy that book, to whatnot. And, and um, I'd imagine you're, you're the same, Steve. Absolutely. And I think, I think it's so... You know that there's that saying that you know you don't learn anything till your skin's in the game or whatever. And yeah, I don't know I like where that it. come. I don't know where that came from, but um, but it's it's so true that when your money, you only learn about the stock market or investing or whatever when your money's in the line. And that happens. It happens all the time, and because you watch it so much closer. And there's a value in that, you know. So when you when you pay when when someone gives you something for free, if they're like, hey, read this book, I'll give it to you or whatever, you you know, the chances of you reading it are very small, but if you, someone tells you about it, you say you should read it. It's a life changer, go buy it. And, and you, you do listen to that and you buy it. Um, you've bought it. So you do read it, you know, you mightn't finish it or whatever, but, and the bigger the amount of the more precious it is because the more it costs you, uh, and that's not a dollar figure. It's a, you know, it's a, um, uh, it's, it's, as you said, because everyone's at a different level, it might cost, um, it might cost, you know, whatever that costs for you, because everyone has a different living lifestyle and stuff, but whatever, if it costs you an expense, that's a very expensive thing for you, then, then you're going to, you're going to get the most out of it. And I, and I've run some courses. I got a lot of courses of my own and I see that over and over and over the people that I'm like, you know, give a scholarship to or something, they don't show up as much mm. as the people that are like, that poured this was their last dollar or something, you know, and this is, and they've, and they just, they're there for every, every class and everything. And it's, it's so powerful. So yeah, I totally, totally recommend it. And, um, and is that something that you do as well? Cause I know that you've, you're running your podcast, you've, you've just started your podcast. Um, and, um, or is it, is it live yet or. It will be on the, um, on the, on the 17th of October. So so um, that's 2023. Who knows? Someone could be listening to this in 2025. I don't know. But uh, um, so in um, in about uh, three weeks or so. So I've done a lot of the preparation technical stuff. I've recorded uh, a couple of episodes, recorded a couple of solos and um, will launch on the 17th. So super excited. And then it's weekly after that. So it's a, it's a dream uh, come true. Uh, a lot of uh, procrastination, literally for years, um, for years. And then um, there's two things that um, really kind of um, propel me is that um, that slice of time stuff, what am I going to do and why not me? And it's really the times now. So sure, I might have procrastinated all that time and, and whatnot, but for some reason I wasn't ready. I really feel ready now and I'm, and I'm doing it now and it feels, it feels great. And, um, you know, I'm a big 
believer and everything happens to me for a reason and it serves me. Right. So there's a reason why I hadn't done it till now. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what that is, but you know, uh, and I don't even know if that's the truth, but what I do know is if I tell myself that that's empowering, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't like we said before, we're making stuff up. So it makes something up that, that serves you. So, um, so now is, um, is, uh, definitely the time and, I've always had this dream. So what what happens to me is when I learn something, I think, oh. Wow, John, thank you so much. What an amazing uh, chat with you. What an amazing uh, message. And and um, I can't wait to... I can't wait to see uh, and hear more. Um, I think we'll be getting you back on the show. And I know that we're going to be doing, I'm going to be uh, chatting on your show sometime soon. So um, I'm really excited, you know, that, uh, you know, the, the he, you know, you're building your business. John's building his alongside of mine. And, and uh, it's, it's, it's so great when uh, great minds think alike or uh, when you partner with another positive person. So awesome work. Thanks so, so much for hanging out with us, John. And I want, I want to give you guys, the the listeners, um, you know, this, this, it really matters to me what, um, uh, like that you're getting something out of this. And I really want to give you, uh, bump up your day somehow, you know, it's like, you know, a cup of coffee in the morning gives you a little bit of a bump up, a little bit of a, a kickstart to the day. And, um, and the same, the same as this podcast, I want it to be a place where you can, uh, where it bumps up your day a little bit. It just makes your your day just that tiny little bit more positive. And and that is the whole goal. And so if you if you want to be um and if that if that does, if you do find yourself going, oh, I feel a little bit better after listening to Rise Up with Steve Colm, then then um uh, maybe consider uh giving us a five star review, heading over to the um to wherever you listen to your podcast, whether it's Spotify or um uh, iTunes podcast then, you know, um, consider giving us a five-star review. It doesn't take too long and it really helps this um, this podcast float to the top and and helps other people. And so you in turn would be helping other people, helping me, of course, me and Asha and, and helping other people um, sharing the light and the, and, the, and the love out there. So, but thanks guys. Thanks for listening. And uh, we will see you in the next one. Yeah.